Hello, welcome back. This class we shall see little advanced topic, namely DLL, Dynamic Link Library. So, normally a library means it is a collection of books, but here our library refers to a collection of functions. So, we write number of functions required and we keep it in a library and those functions are linked in our program during the execution that is dynamically our functions are linked to our application hence the name dynamic link library if you take the windows operating system you can see that thousands of dlls are there for instance if i search the dll files then you can see that there are hundreds and hundreds of dlls which are which constitutes a, an operating system and each dll has hundreds of functions in it okay so now in this lecture we shall discuss how to write a simple dll to uh, have two functions to add two numbers and to multiply two numbers even though the concept is simple but uh, you can understand the concept of this Therefore, let us start Visual C++ and let us select a new and the project name I call it as my DLL and this time instead of taking the application wizard, I am taking Win32 Dynamic Link Library. The project name is my DLL. Remember the word because we will take two files from this. Okay, then select OK and instead of empty DLL project, simple DLL project, DLL that exports some symbols we shall take the simple dll project and we shall select finish okay now in the class view here in the source file and let us take the source file my dll.cpp okay here we have to give some make some declarations so that the functions what we write can be exported therefore the first reserve word external externally this C language and there is a macro declaration specification and here the functions are exported therefore DLL export see that the color changes therefore it is a reserved word and now the function name I call it as sum which takes two arguments of uh, type double and which returns a value of type double therefore double first this stands for the return type and this is the function name and these are the two arguments therefore this is a function declaration for this sum likewise i will take one more function and uh, dllc declaration specification dll export and the function name is uh, mul the mul is the name of the function which takes two arguments of type double and returns a double value okay now we shall those two are the declarations now we shall implement that function so double is the return type the function name is sum which take two arguments of double a and variable double b and now it returns a plus b so this is the function implementation likewise we shall write one more implementation for the function mul therefore one more function mul which takes two arguments of type double and which returns uh, the product of the two numbers okay my dll creation is over i save it and if i build the application then here you can see that the creating library my in the debug directory my dll.lib file is created okay and one more file my dll.dll is created so these two files are created in the debug directory of my project called as my dll so my job is over i cannot run this application because it is collection of functions only and moreover it has no main function therefore i close all these things i close workspace yes now we shall start a new a different project for testing it therefore again i select a new and this type i will take a mfc application wizard and this project name i call it as dll test previously it was my dll and this one is dll test then I say OK, let this be a dialog based application, then let us say finish and OK. Now in this one, let us uh, have provision for getting two numbers, this is for getting number one and one edit text box to, to accept the number 
this is for, for a number and these two controls I copy hold on the control key and drag this is for getting number 2 and this is for displaying the sum from the DLL and this is for displaying the product from the DLL okay I want a command button also so that it can find the sum and the product therefore I call this one as uh, calculate and uh, likewise this function this uh, property I change it I pin this and I call it as this is a for getting number 2 and this one for the sum that is the sum of the two numbers and this one for getting the product of the two numbers and let us make a few more things for edit boxes I select and in this styles I make it as a number and the numbers are right justified and these two edit boxes I make it as read only because they are sum and product okay my design is over okay now when I double click this one and the function is executed and here oh no I have not associated the variables therefore go to the class wizard for the edit box one you call it as n1 of type double and likewise for the edit box 2 let us define a variable as n2 of type uh, double sorry of type uh, double or float uh, anyway double and likewise for the edit box 3 the variable I will call it as uh, n3 of type uh, double and likewise for the edit box 4 we shall call this one is equal to n4 of type uh, double okay right so now from the control it should go to n1 n2 therefore the command is update data uh, uh, true and now my n3 which is my uh, some edit box is equal to n1 plus n2 and my n4 which is the product is equal to n1 multiplied by n2 okay now the values are in n3 n4 therefore it has to be reflected on the control therefore update data false as you know that these are the dialog data exchange now i save everything and if i build the application then you can see that there are uh, this one sorry not n1 plus plus n2 sorry i have to use the function sum of n1 comma n2 otherwise uh, we are not using dll and likewise we shall use the function multiply of one argument is n1 another argument is n2 okay sorry this is n1 comma n2 now if i run the application there are two errors one this project does not know about what is a sum and what is a mul therefore those two functions are to be imported here therefore here we use another function for extend the same way see declaration specification and there we use dll export here we shall use dll import and what is the return type the return type is double sum it takes two arguments of type double and double okay likewise we we have to import one more function called as not our sum function but the mul function okay now again if i save and if i build the application now there are three errors that it cannot resolve where to import the function sum and mul okay therefore here what we have to do is we have to go there that is our previous thing what is my previous one where I stored that is my DLL and inside the debug directory now here you can see that there are two functions one is this is the export library file not that one this my DLL dot library file and DLL file so these two files you copy from the my DLL and come back and put it in DLL test now that is the project right now we are working and here you paste those two files okay the library file and the dl file that's all my job is over therefore close this and now again if i save everything and run again then also i get the three errors that it cannot able to import therefore we have to include those references therefore go to the project add to the project select a file and select all files here all files and in the dl test dll test and inside the debug directory here where is my file my this library file if you go to the details then that dll my dll library file is there okay this file you select it and now if you build the application then there are no errors now if you run 
and here suppose the first number is equal to 20 another number is equal to 12 and if i find that the sum i got and the product i got this i did not get simply by means of adding for sum and product i refer the dll the sum function from the dll is taken mul function from the dll is taken so this has given you a brief uh, idea of how dll is created and how dll is accessed due to the restriction of time i have gone little bit fast if you have any queries please email me thank you so much